Hi, I'm Sean. I'm nine years old, and I like to show you my altar. This is a portrait of my guru, Sam Tuku Rinpoche. Towards me, I think he's a very good teacher. I enjoy his Dharma teachings because he speaks wisely and also adds some jokes, which are also very funny. This is a photo I took together with him during a garage sale last year. I was very happy then. That time, he also gave me a, a jewel, which I now use as an offering towards Buddha. This is Fajarigini. I think she's a very beautiful Buddha, don't you think? This is a Shakyamuni Buddha. This Buddha statue was from my great grandfather to my grandfather to my mother, then finally to me. This is my most favorite Buddha statue in my whole set of Buddhas. This Buddha is Lama Tsongkhapa. He embodies three different Buddhas, which are Avalokiteshvara, the Buddha of Compassion, which is also similar to Kuan Yin, the Chinese Buddha of Compassion. The other two are Manjushri, the Buddha of Wisdom, and Vajrapani, the Buddha of Spiritual Power. I have two statues of Lama Tsongkhapa. In every altar, there will be three, three Buddha, representations of Buddha, which is the body, speech, and mind. The Buddha statue represents the Buddha's body, while the, the book or scripture is represented as the Buddha speech. They, I picked the book Gurus for Highest and I didn't learn for sale. It is written by Sam Tuku Rinpoche. You, you can find these books in Kachara outlets and bookstores such as Times Bookstore, MPH and many more. This is a chakra, which is used for protection. This is Lama Tsongkhapa's chakra. And this is a stupa, which has a money pill inside it. This money pill was blessed by the Dalai Lama himself. A money pill will multiply if you have a pure heart. There are many different shapes and sizes of a stupa. There are also offerings, which are food offerings. You can have offer sweets too, water offering, incense offering, and light offering. Light offerings illuminate wisdom and burns away attachment. And while incense, it represents smell and also represents that we release our attachment to smell. Yeah, this, this incense I'm using here are Zambala Wealth Incense. There's a box in, in over here. You can buy it at Kachara House Outlets or at Kachara house itself. The Kachara house outlets are Zambala Mystical Treasures, Yogini Mystical Treasures, Kachara Mystical Treasures, Kachara Paradise, and you can even purchase certain objects at Kachara, Kachara house itself. 
you can offer anything to Buddha. I also can. You can also offer mantras, which are in, which are inside a cup, or you can store it somewhere. Then you also can put your objects, such as malas, near your in your altar to purify it, purify it while you're doing your offerings. A mala is used to count mantras. Like for example, saying Om Mani Padme Hum. Whenever you are you are using incense or to purify the altar, or lighting up the incense, or lighting up the candle, you must say just three words: Om Ah Hum, Om Ah Hum, Om Ah Hum, for three separate objects. This is. Uh, an R2 D2 toy which I'm very happy because Sam Tuku Rinpoche sent, gave it to me. He also written a note. I'm very happy of that. I hope you like my altar. Thank you for watching this video. Bye!